Hello everybody, welcome back. I wish I had a lot of updates to give you, but the mail is slow, and with mail slow, there's not a lot of progress being made. But uh, I'll bring you up to speed on what's going on for now, and uh, we'll catch you up to date for what we're doing anyway. Uh, one thing that did come in the mail is I did get the center caps for the Bogarts. So I got the, the tall caps for the front wheels and the shorter caps for the rears. The fronts have to clear the, the, the bearing spindle. So a little uh, bearing cap in there. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I looked at the tracking data. You now these things went, went on the world tour you know, all over the dang place before they got here. So well, it took a while. Um, I got a, a snow foam cannon adapter for well, at least that little green pressure washer on the wall over there. So I got some some juice to put in here and I'll play with this later. Maybe if I get around to it. Uh, I gotta change this little nozzle out here. I guess if you have a, a low power pressure washer, they want you to stick this thing in there so it makes a uh, decent foam. So I'll have to swap that out maybe this evening when the, the sun goes down around the outside of the, the garage. There's no direct sunlight. I'll give it a shot on the wife's car, experiment on hers. Uh, we took the, the, the van wheels to the, uh, the place that's going to refurbish them, so uh, it's cool. They said the four-day turnaround, so I'm kind of happy with that, uh, which means Monday or Tuesday next week. And uh, well, I took some pictures of what they were before. I think I showed them to you on my last video, and uh, we'll see what they're like when I get them back. So uh, I'm excited about that. And the last thing that I got done was for the coop. And you guys know that I like uh, stiltiness and not showing anything. So uh, here's the, the coop keychain. <laughs> got that keychain off the of guy on Etsy. So it's about as fitting as a keychain as you can get. So I'll see if this works. I kind of set it up here a little bit. So radio blank off plate. So I want a radio. But I don't want to show that I got a radio. I want it all hidden and concealed. So this isn't fully pushed on because I was messing with the wiring in there. So let's see if uh, proof of concept works here. So I put on stereo power. Oh, you heard that? So what that means is I can go down here. This is my Bluetooth controller. So this automatically hooks up to my phone. So whenever you get in the car, turn the key, it'll uh, it'll connect, and then should play. I don't want to get copyrighted. And the next song. Stop music. Yeah, that's exactly all I wanted. The old panel removed. So what you can get for your car is these adapters. It comes in a, a two-pack, one for the black connector, one for the gray connector. And this one is for your speaker wires, which I don't have hooked up yet. And this one is like for the power and uh your lights and things like that for your radio because what i did is i tapped into the blue wire for the lights for the uh the gauge if you can see it if it, there it goes so I have the lights on the, on the boost gauge work now but uh yeah so easily i think it's like a three wire hookup there's a ground there's uh full-time 12 volts and they're switched to 12 volts so, and this is uh, from the car. This is your second output to something else. So what I got coming is a tiny little like four inch by three inch two channel amplifier. So I'm hooking this up right now. All it is is hooked up to the output. There's an output jack if you want an output. 
well I guess you have to have this output it but you can tee it off to low level inputs or something like that but this is a headphone jack and I got my headphones here with a little microphone inside so that's where you heard the music from but uh when I get it this will tee off into an amp this will power the amplifier and I already have a, a tee off from the ground so I can uh, go to that amplifier and then I'll plug into the speakers and it's just a little 25 watt by four or two channel amp so that's all I need I don't need to be cranking bass and doing stuff I just want some tunes while I'm driving if I want it and there's nothing commercially available that I found that's easy to, to just get in the car and go and I wanted like a single knob so I just took the cigarette lighter out of here and plugged it into this gizmo and uh, as soon as you get in the car and turn the key you know it starts searching for your phone that you connected in the past you'll turn turn the key on powers up and boom it's connected uh, touch it once should play music And then turn it back ways as you used to rewind and it's got a couple of the features in there but uh for the most part that's all i wanted just basic functionality it can be hidden shut this all back in there can be hidden and uh yeah that's gonna be cool so but yeah that's what's going on so just waiting on the amp to show up to, to finish out that install Yep. So that's uh, a week in the life of uh, in the UK, trying to get stuff done, and nothing's coming in the mail. So still waiting on tires. Husband hasn't shipped them yet. Uh, I want to get those mounted and balanced and uh, ready to go. But I'm hoping that next week I'll find out about some stuff at work, get paid, and maybe uh, get the coupe taxed and uh, maybe get it on the road. I mean, the weather's been pretty great. Uh, super bright out there with the camera, but uh, yeah. Just don't want to spend the money to get to tax the car at the ver at this very moment. So, because I got some financial things going on. And uh, yeah, hopefully soon. But that's all for this week. And hopefully get you more next. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Oh yeah, this is that little Bluetooth adapter that I got. NVX XUB T3. It just comes in a little bag like this. This is the uh, headphone. This is the output to uh, low levels. And this is just like an extension. And even if you wanted to, uh, it has an actual input if you wanted to from like a headphone jack. So you could take it from a phone or some other device, MP3 player, and pump it right into there using the other jack that it has. So, so yeah, it's simple. It was like 65 bucks. I think I paid for it on Amazon. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's the way the thing looks. All it is is like a big threaded back shell. And uh, fits perfect in the, uh, the cigarette lighter spot. So, alright, I'll just add this in the video.